welcome to book 12 of the Aeneid, aka the last book of the Aeneid. Finally, we made it, lads. Uh, so let's get going. So the book starts off with Turnus starting to see that the odds are starting to work against the Latins and they're not really doing very well in battle. And he gets as angry as a lion who has just been badly injured and turns haha, to Latinus and is like, listen, we got to have this duel now between me and Aeneas. Either I kill him and the Trojans lose or I die and he can get Lavinia as his wife. I honestly don't care. I just want this over with. And in response, Latinus is like, listen, you've got like loads of kingdoms on your side now who you have a lot of power over, including your own big kingdom. And I have like plenty of other women for you to marry. Like I went against the prophecy in the first place by giving Lavinia to the, you because me and my wife love you so much. And But like that's why this war has started. And like we've already lost a lot of wars in the past and we shouldn't have to have you killed for peace. And I don't want to risk my alliance with the Rutulians for this either. So like th can you just like give up? Uh, but Turnus is honest, obviously doesn't listen, surprise, surprise, and is like, save your pity for me. I've already chosen to give up my life for this, and his goddess mother can't stop me now. And then Queen Amata then breaks down and is like, please don't do this. If you die, I'll die. I can't bear to see Lavinia marry Aeneas. I'll ruin Latinus's power, and I hate him. I want you to marry her, and I love you. And if you die, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll do it. And then Lavinia cries and blushes. And Virgil makes like a whole ass metaphor for this, comparing it, her blushing to roses and shit. And this is the most that Lavinia does in this whole epic poem. And that's why I hate male writers. Oh, ugh, Lavinia deserves better. Anyway, uh, so Turnus gets more angry and is like, please don't jinx me. I'm going to go fight Aeneas now. So please send a messenger to get him for me so he can fight. Peace. And then he gathers his horses and armor, which were all given to him, to his family by various gods and famous warriors. And he turns to his spear, which was taken from Acta, and is like, okay, spear. We're going to take down this effeminate Phrygian. And then he starts to prepare more for battle for the next day. And then Aeneas also starts to prepare and gets angry with his mother's gifts around him and reassures Eulus, aka Scanius, that the prophecy will protect him and will ensure his victory and he doesn't have to worry about his dad dying. Um, so the next day, everyone gathers for the duel with the leaders dressed all in purple and golden robes and religious rituals are being performed with like sacrifices and stuff. And Juno takes her place above the battle in the clouds and turns to Jew Turner, Turner's uh, sister, uh, who we learn was given her nymph status after her virginity was taken by Jupiter. Was it consensual? Probably not, because Jupiter sucks. Um, and Juno says, listen, you know, I've always favoured you above all the other many women Jupiter has slept with, and I've tried my breath my breast, my best to protect your brother up until this point but this can't be avoided now you can try and help him if you want and go close to the battle if you want but i have to stay up here now i can't do anything else and you turn and starts to cry and you know he's like stop crying and help your brother bro i i sanctioned it now go do your job um, and then Turnus arrives onto the battlefield alongside Latinus and the other Italian kings. And Aeneas arrives alongside Ascanius and a priest. And then they prepare sacrifices. And Aeneas starts a treaty and promises that the Trojans will leave if he dies. Or if he wins, that the Trojans won't rule over the Latins, but will instead agree to rule alongside them as equals. Uh, and Latinus agrees to this and they make their sacrifices. Uh, and then as Turnus sets up, steps up the Rutulians start to get a little bit worried because he looks pale and like a young child um that is exactly how it's described in my version of it so don't come for me uh and Juturna uses this to adver her advantage and disguises herself as Camers and starts to start rumors to encourage them to start fighting instead and protect Turnus uh, and then she sends down an omen of an eagle uh grabbing a swan before the eagle is then swarmed by other birds and drops the swarm. Um, and the Rutulians start to take up their swords. And Tolumnius, who is an augur, is like, Okay, guys, that's the sign that we got to help Turnus and drive Aeneas out. Let's go, boys. 
uh, and then he throws his spear at the Trojans, and then this causes everyone to panic, and the spear kills one of the nine sons of Gali- <laughs> Gilippus? Gilippus? I don't know how you say that. Um, and that causes all of his brothers to take up their swords, and then everyone rushes into battle on both sides, with people like Messippus going straight for Al- Alestes, and the... Sh- and he kills him, and then the Italians strip him of his armor, and then Cor- Corineus sets Ibesus's beard on fire and throws him to the ground, and then stabs him. And Alsus hits Podalirius in the head with his axe. And it's just real messy. It's just a real messy scene. And meanwhile, Aeneas is in the, m- the middle of this, and it's like, lads, the treaty has just been made and signed. Can we please stop fighting? You're lo- violating the treaty that I just worked very hard to make and then he gets struck by an arrow and he's like of god's sake uh, and then turnus spots aeneas leaving the battle very angry though he got shot with an arrow and chases after him on his chariot and kills a bunch of people on the way and there's like a whole list of things in the book y- if you want to read this section it's just like a whole page of him killing people it's a whole list if you want to read it go ahead um and then Aeneas is taken to camp by Menestheus and Achates with Ascanius and tries to slice the arrow out himself in a rage. And he's like, get out. And everyone's like, don't do that. You'll make it worse. And the Apex uh, approaches him and tries to help him with some herbs. Well, everyone cries because they're like, oh, my God, he's so badly injured. We're going to die. Um and everything a Yapix kind of does with the herbs and stuff just kind of makes it worse. And everyone's like, oh my god. Uh, and then Venus gets some dittany and mixes it with the water that a is using. And then it heals the wound. And then he urges the others to bring Aeneas his arms as it was clearly ordained by the gods that he was healed right now. And Aeneas kisses Ascanius on the head and is like, remember this, son. And let it give you courage in the future. Your dad is a badass. And then he rushes into battle with his escort. And Turnus and the Latins see this. And Teutana flees. And the Vitulians are slaughtered by the Trojans. Including dumbass Tolumnius who started this whole mess. And that song, Karma. What amazing. Um... And then Aeneas is looking for Turnus, and Turnus only, because he is the only one who actually cares about the treaty. He's like, oh, I'm only here to kill one person. Uh, the treaty says this, and so he does. Um, and then Juturna flings Turnus' his charioteer off the chariot and takes his place, and like disguises herself as his charioteer, and like aims to drive Turnus away from the battle again. And Aeneas chases after him before Messippus throws a spear at him, to which Aeneas kneels in time just so it only takes off the plumes of his helmet. And Aeneas gets real angry at this, and then he calls upon Jupiter before killing absolutely everyone in his path. And then Virgil lists all the deaths and is like, oh, this bit sucks. This is, oh, this is so messy. This is so horrible. Oh, oof, ouch, my bones. Uh, and then Venus gives Aeneas the idea to just go straight to the city walls to completely throw off the Latins. So he calls all his generals and is like, lads, the city is the reason this war began. It wasn't because of Turnus. We don't have to wait for him. It's because of the city. We're doing this for the city. So let's not wait for Turnus to stop being a pussy and avoiding the duel and just go straight for the city. And everyone's like, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, So they go for the city. And some Latins try to get Latinus to just let the Trojans in to stop the war, while others start to take up arms to defend the city. And the Queen sees this and assumes that Turnus has died and starts blaming herself for his death that hasn't even happened yet and hangs herself in grief. Uh, and then Lavinia and Latinus both grieve when they find, a, find out about this and they just go absolutely feral in their grief. And Turnus notices the city is in absolute chaos and he's like, uh, what's going on? Why, why is the city not doing great and you turn still disguised as like oh don't worry let's just keep going for the trojans while they're distracted by aeneas and taking the city down like this is the perfect opportunity for us to just kill more trojans and turns is like fuck's sake sis i knew it was you i knew you did this i knew you caused this whole mess in the first place like bro what why are you down here do you want to see me die that's so oh that's so messed up just let me die in glory already and like all my friends are dead i i want to die now i want to have the joy just get this over with and then sassy comes up to him and is like bro you got to help us the royal family has gone absolutely feral the queen has killed herself and the city is not doing great you gotta save us 
and turn this gets like super mad and is like sis you gotta let me go ape shit now don't delay me anymore and then he jumps off the chariot leaving Chitona to grieve and he runs to the city and he shouts Retunians Latin stop fighting I gotta ho- uh, hold up I gotta hold up my end in the treaty and fight Aeneas so Aeneas you get your ass here right now we're, sort- we're sorting this out here and now and Aeneas is like, hell yeah, and goes straight to Turnus while everyone lays down their arms and watches. And the men start to fight as Latinus watches in amazement because he's like, oh my god, they're both so good. And Jupiter starts to weigh their lives against each other on a scale and it's like, oh, it's so epic. And Turnus starts to fight with his sword, but lo and behold, he got the wrong sword. It's not his sword. And it shatters when it meets uh, Aeneas's armour because it was because Aeneas's armour was literally made by Vulcan. So Turnus is not sword doesn't stand a chance and he turns to flee while Aeneas chases after him and the Trojans block Turnus from running away and he shouts to the Retunians for his actual sword and not this terrible sword that is just shattered into a million pieces and then that so there's this sacred tree in the battleground as well which is sacred to Faunus which the Trojans cut down to make space for the battleground and in this stump is Aeneas's spear from when he tried to throw it and then Aeneas is trying to get it out while Turnus prays to Faunus to keep the spear embedded so he doesn't have to die yet and Juturna disguises herself again and gives Turnus his actual sword before Venus who is angry as fuck at this helps Aeneas get his sword spear di- yeah his spear out of the trunk meanwhile Jupiter turns to Juno and is like bro why are you still helping you know Aeneas is gonna win like st- just take the L and stop helping. And Juno is like, listen, I've already held myself back a lot during this battle. And if it were my way, I would be down there right now destroying the Trojans. But I, I get I get what you mean. I understand. But can you at least let the Latins keep their name and culture when this is all over? And just let Troy die. It's fallen now. We don't, we don't need the Trojans anymore. And Jupiter is like, okay, the Trojans will become Latins and fine, you can have your wish. And Juno is like, thanks, bye. And pieces out and just disappears. And then Jupiter sends down the Dirai, uh, one of whom takes the form of a small bird associated with ill omens, which then flies repeatedly into Turnus' face and shield. Uh, and Juturna takes this as a sign from Jupiter as a sign for her to just leave and give up. She does this grieving and plunges herself into her river, cursing Jupiter. And meanwhile, Aeneas is like, Turnus, why are you running? Why are you running? And Turnus is like, I'm not scared of you. I'm scared of the gods, because they're clearly behind all this. And he goes to pick up a boulder to throw at Aeneas, but he gets so scared that he drops the boulder again, and then Aeneas throws his spear, and it hits Turnus, who is brought to kneel by the blow. And Turnus is like, okay... You've, you've won that. You've won. You can have Lavinia. I don't care. But can you please at least be a, nu- please be a nice person and return my body to my dad? Just let me have this. And Aeneas is almost about to agree to this until he sees Pallas's baldric on Turnus's body and is like, Bitch, you killed Pallas and took his spoils and refused to give his body back to his dad. So this is for Pallas. You little bitch, fuck you. And then he strikes Turnus in the chest and Turnus dies in anger. And then that's it. That's where it ends. Turnus dies and that's the end of the Aeneid as a whole. I'm not even joking, that's how it ends. We did it, boys. <laughs> We're finally done with the Aeneid. That's the end. You can all stop asking me to do the next book now because I'm done. <laughs> but do not, do not fret. I do... I still have to finish the Odyssey. I'm well aware of this. Uh, and also, I do have other books that I want to cover. Or like, cl- classical literature to cover. Including plays. I'll do both plays, poems, all sorts. Uh, so if any of you have any suggestions for ones that you want me to do next, let me know in the comments. Uh, but for now, that's basically it. So, uh... I guess I'll see you guys next time for the next book of the Odyssey. Goodbye!